Welcome back people, we've got another video, this is on a DC motor controller. So I'm showing you this just because I've got this out of a bike conversion kit and I'm going to be building the bike and turning it into an electric bike which that video will be coming soon. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button, don't forget to uh, turn notifications on because I'm going to be building it, showing you different ways how to connect different throttles and stuff. Uh, taking the bike out for a ride once I've built it and um, sharing my experience with this kit and see how well it does so this is a dc motor 36 to 48 volts which my electric conversion kit is 48 volts and um, i do have a different controller if i choose not to use this one but it says brakes low level uh, current is 25 plus 1a pass 1.1 1 .1. and then um it says nsk i'm guessing the nsk is the is the model i don't know most of these do come from china this is definitely a lot smaller controller compared to the other one that i have it's absolutely a monster but today i'm going to explain about the controller wires if you've got any comments at all or you're confused about anything do let me know in the comments below and i will obviously try and get back to you guys as quick as i possibly can so today let's explain some of these wires so we have the black and purple wire which is the traditional chinese wires that they use most of these well i think 99 percent of these controllers come from china if not all of them but anyway purple and black is always for your brake lever which as you can see my two brake levers one here and one here so these are the wires that are coming from the brake lever red and black red and black going to purple and black purple and black now they are already um, connected just so that way you can see most of them do come with a clip but if not and you don't have this clip you would connect red to black and then black to purple that's the way that one works there's your brake levers covered this one here pretty common well known as you can see is your main power to the actual bike itself so obviously that's where you would connect your battery and then we have here connected, sometimes these are two wires, sometimes three wires, but I'm going to make different videos on how to connect up different types of throttles on this controller. So if you're having problems with trying to connect different throttles with more wires, because one of the electric um, twist throttles that I have has five wires, this one here only has white, red and black, which is three wires. But as I said, I'm going to make a video on how to connect that up, that will be coming at some point, so keep an eye out. Um, and then here, yeah, there's your clip. So white to white, black to black, and red to red. There's for your thumb throttle. But as I said, I am going to be changing that, and I'm going to be connecting a five wire. So there's that one off to the side. Let's next do this one, which it would be red, blue, and yellow to red, green, and black. So red to red, blue to green, and yellow. To black as you can see that just there so that one is for your pass sensor that is what goes down where you pedal and when you pedal this is pedal assist I have the magnets there let's throw that one off to one side and then here most of them are normally just one big wire but here is my stop connector wire from that to over here to my rear wheel you can get these as front wheel drive as well so for connecting up the wheel you'll always have a block like this this is one block that you always have can't really get it wrong it's the biggest block on the controller clip them together and there we go that's it and then you will have a blue wire a green wire and a yellow wire and these clips pull in and push out just like that so as you can see the blue you'd push that in i think they call them bullet bullet connectors i don't know i'm not sure of the proper name but once it's connected you then push your piece of plastic over it just so that way it keeps a bit of water out and it keeps it connected then you do the same with the green to green yellow to yellow okay um so these two blue wires here this is for my speed control if i want to basically kind of de-strict it make the scooter go faster i will not be connecting these blue wires which i won't be connecting those um over here we have a red and black which this is for a power so i could either add add uh, 
probably a light or something well definitely i could add a light to that i could put a light on the bike if i wanted it to run that way if not if i've got any other power device like a usb wire and i wanted to connect up a usb wire so i can charge uh, my phone or something through usb then again i could use these two wires for that last wire is this one here again you can't really go wrong with this one because this one um, is the same clip but sometimes they have they do have different clips on the end so um explaining the wires let me get my display so every display is different they are all yeah there's not any display that are the same so this is a s I'm trying to get the glare off the um can't get the glare off it anyway it is an sw900 display never had this one before to be honest it feels kind of thick definitely feels a lot stronger than um than any other display that i've had if i'm completely honest the uh yeah it does feel quite strong so good display of the display comes this part just here now this part here you would hold m to turn it on then obviously you can press up up to past five some have past ten past three every one of them is different but you would press up and obviously when you pull the throttle you'd have more power or by having that on past five past three or past ten whatever the highest number it yours goes up to will give you more power through pedaling so when you go to pedal you'll have that more power there so it makes it that a little bit easier for going up hills and that kind of thing so yeah i'm pretty sure most of you know what that is but just in case you don't there it is all right let's move over to the end of this so this is part of the display this is the wires that come off the display and this will just push in there oh don't push it too hard because you have these little pins here those little pins let me camera to focus those little pins if they bend they're not going to fit into this part here so um as you can see there, the little bits of silver on the end. So yeah, don't force it. Try putting it one way. If it doesn't work, turn it around, put it the other way. But a good little tip is here on the side. You can see this little piece of plastic here. And obviously here is the little clip to push it, to disconnect it. So you can't really go wrong with it. But as I said, take your time with it. Go slow, because they are quite fiddly. Then you hear that little sound, that little click. That's it. That's connected together. So quick run through real fast again. The black and purple cables, they're for the brakes. This thick red and black wire with the connector is for the power, um, for your battery. And then you've got red and black, which you could use to connect up a light or a USB cable. These are your speed controllers. So you can go top speed by not connecting those. So I'm gonna leave those out. We showed the uh, display, red to red, black to black. Blue to blue, green to green, yellow to yellow. Can't really go wrong with that. And then all the controllers for the back wheel. Them three wires that I showed you. This big block, you couldn't get it wrong. And then over to here, this is for the pass sensor itself. As you can see, black is to yellow. Green is to blue. Red is to red. Any comments, leave in the comment section below if you have any problems. I can try and help you guys out as much as I can. White to white, black to black, red to red for the thumb throttle, which I said I'm going to be putting on a five wire throttle. So uh, if you want to see that, if you want to see how I do that, make sure you are subscribed. Anyone who does share my content really does do appreciate it. It does help me grow as a content creator. So thank you everyone who does do that. Keep an eye out for the other videos of throttle wire wiring, connecting this up, building my electric bike, me testing it, taking it on the roads and stuff. Keep an eye out for it. It's going to be great fun. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.